Speak about though, like the perception, the thought process where once you have it, you want to be so stand out ish mm -hmm. that most people will spend majority of the money to stand out, you know, for the cars, for the jewelry. Right. And this, this what gets me, and again, like, I used to think like this too. Like, I remember like, back when I was working a nine to five job, driving trucks, in my early days, single, single dad, tax season time come, right? I had my son, I, I'll claim him with my taxes, but I know you can claim two kids at a time on your taxes. So I'm looking for somebody who had like three, four, five kids to claim on my taxes too. Yes, sir. So I can get, you know, seven racks mm. during tax season. So I was spending. I'm My going, family's I'm, still home. I'm, I'm back going, home doing that. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's the environment. So yeah. I'm going. I'm going straight to the mall or that new, that new, that new uh, used Lexus that was thirty five hundred. I got seven racks. I, I can buy that used Lexus because it's a Lexus. Bro, I did that shit with it's a Mustang. A, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that shit broke down. <laughs> but it's you driving the Lexus around the way. Fact, though. Fact, I got the Lex. Fact. Fact. That shit could have been an eighty nine. Yeah. But it's still a Lex. Yeah, for thirty five hundred. Yeah, I, I bring that with my go get my taxes, then go to mall. You know what I'm saying? Get a few fits, fresh kicks, chain. I'm in the door, but now I'm broke. But I'm getting to this point because most of us always complain that we got the money. Yeah. We do got the money, but you're not re not realizing that you're spending on the wrong shit. Yeah. I could have used that money to educate myself to learn how to make more money, mm. find assets and not liabilities like I was doing. Yeah. And I didn't learn mm. that till like pushing 30. I was 26. Mm. I was 26 years old when I, shout out to Chris Haskins where, you know, um, he put me on to the, to the, I call it the white collar business, real estate investing, because I'm still the minority in, in real estate. Yeah. I come in the room just like, just like I'm like, like this, and I'm, I'm a part because I'm minority in that space, just, uh, but I feel comfortable in myself. I don't have to wear the fresh, the, the, the suit, you know, all that, but the, the traditional, like that's, that's not needed in this day. So, and I, to, to, to the point of the chains, I don't want to, I didn't want to make a point as far as that it's wrong, but it's the point you made as far as it, is it an asset? You know, a lot of watches, a lot of things don't depreciate mm. in its value. So I guess going back to the education aspect, it's mm. like buy the, buy the shit, but make sure you're not buying it and losing money. And that's what I mean, you know? It's like, get whatever you want, right. but make sure it's an asset. To, Correct. To, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's it, you right. know? And not a flex. And not a flex. Right. Because Most if it's a flex, you lose. Right. Because you, you, you're worrying about the short-term gratification of mm -hmm. a person who sees you that never gonna see you again and that doesn't give a fuck right. about you. Right. And you're worrying about, you're covering up this trauma in you because you never had it, mm. you know? And it's like, I'm the same way. It's like, I've never had certain things. So the moment you get it, you, you put it on, you know? So mm. it's like, you gotta make peace with that Damn. going back to therapy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's why it's so good. You gotta make peace with certain things because if you don't, in the long run, you might think you're elevating, but you're actually hitting a plateau while you're going up the scale, you know? Mm. You're going, it's going like this, you know? One thing that most of us from our environment in the hood is a black culture, don't realize is that we have the traits of entrepreneurship. Cause most of us are hustlers, bro. We're already in, to be in, in that environment means that you're in survival mode, meaning that you're hustling. It's in our DNA. It's in your DNA. So if you apply that and convert it over to entrepreneurship, don't fear. Cause you already, you already have the trait, right? Mm -hmm. Convert it over to entrepreneurship. You already have the hustle. You already have the grit. You already have that mentality. But I just think it's going back to the lack of awareness, and right? It's going back to the handcuffs. Right. Think once we receive a white person, I don't want to do business with them. It's like yeah. it's like hold on, right? It's like hold on, stop holding on to this because it's like again, I met people who mm. don't want to associate. There's nothing wrong with this, by the way. Mm. I met I have clients because I'm a videographer. I have clients who only work with black people nothing wrong with it but at the same time i see through it i'm like you only working with black people because for one you f still feel like we are a minority and we still have the odds stacked against us mm. but for two you also don't realize Damn. that you are holding on to this limited belief that these white folks these jewish people whatever 
um, don't have it in your best interest. In my opinion, it's like, yes, you will run into some, but you got to understand, you mm -hmm. play the game. They don't, they you got to play the game. In today's society, right. they don't care what color you are. Mm -hmm. Can you play the game? Can you add value? If you can add value, I can fuck with you. you know? But that's also like saying, and I, I don't, I don't like to put myself in a box. It's kind of like putting yourself in a box. Yeah. You know, I, I yeah, I want to work. I want to, I want to have help. You want to help, help my culture. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And give back. But I don't want to just cut Asians, cut you know what I'm saying, the white, the, 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 Hispanic, white, the yeah, Hispanic, yeah, exactly. the, the European, like that's crazy. That's like a white person comes and say, I'm only working with white people. It's racism, now, now, it's, now it's racism. But for I black, mean, and again, this is this saying, is very controversial, but like. Very controversial. Black people can be racist at times without us knowing it. By us Correct. saying we want to only stay with our culture. Correct. It's, it, it's still racist. One of my, my, my white homies about 10 years ago told me this. And I didn't get it spoke a year or so later. I did a VSL, video sales letter, mm -hmm. right? And I had my, my, my glasses on, and um, I, I bought his program to teach me how to make money on the internet. Yeah. That's when I started getting the funnels and mm -hmm. selling products. Cause that's about, 12, about 11, 12 years ago. So I, I, did a, I did a video sales letter with my glasses on. We, in, we inside a building like this. He said, Tony, take your glasses off because like, I understand what you're doing, but like the white people gonna think you're like hood. They think he said a hoodlum. He said they think you're a hoodlum. I said, but I want my glasses on. Yeah. So I kept my glasses on. And, he, and, and then, but the reason why I'm bringing this up because he he said in that same conversation. He said Antonio. He said everybody's racist. And you having the glasses on, like 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 that's gonna bring the racist out of my culture. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I understand my culture. Like they gonna think you're a hoodlum. You know what I'm saying? And I thought about that, and a year or two later, I was like, everybody's racist. They don't know they're racist. Yeah, Not everybody's fact. prejudiced. Facts. But There's a difference. But everybody has some racism. -ism. So if you short person, not a midget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the saying a midget is racist. That's racist yeah. in that. To exactly. That. To that. To that. But, but in the black culture, we just say midget. Yeah. And look at that midget. That was some racist shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not even worried what you just said, but that's like very offensive to the short person. Yeah. Or you, somebody may come with a crazy accent, an Asian, we laugh at that. That's racist. It is, it is. And it's like, one of, to, to you your point saying? as well, to that story, mm -hmm. in my honest opinion, it's like, keep them glasses on. I don't give a fuck about what they think about right. me. I'm gonna try it I track. Exactly. But at the same time, mm -hmm. it's the understanding of, we can't be so naive and so blind to the fact of our own um, as our perception of the world, which mm. can fall short of being racist as well, you know. Correct. And it's like, and, and again, I've seen it on social media. It's conversations about how can black people be racist, X, Y, and Z. It's like, no, mm. we all are racist. But at the end of the day, what's going to make you win is for you to realize yourself that for one, we're not living in the 1960s no more, 1950s. For two, realizing that you have an equal playing field. Mm -hmm. And for three, realizing that every single one of us can win together if we go together. If we go White, together. black, Mexican, Chinese, anybody, Hawaiian, bro. it doesn't anybody. matter. If we collaborate and connect, that's a that's a true thing. You win by connection. It doesn't matter what, what race you are. It's like, Facts. if you can step out of this mindset you have as far as this victim mentality, as far as they're out to get you, you will win. But it only goes thousand by, percent by you being connected to every and anyone. You and know? when you tap into yourself, once you, you know, you do the personal development yep. that we're lacking, because mm -hmm. I, I hope this may impact some people that personal development is very important, therapy is very important. But once you find that purpose, not even purpose, but once you untap into yourself, you realize that the black culture has a lot of power. So when you when you realize you have a lot of power and you come into these rooms where you quote unquote stereotypical not supposed to be in, they're like, oh shit, yeah. this is rare. These people give you the information. Like, cause they're just like, it's, it's, a, it's a slight fear on the other side, low, low key. Just because of who we are and where we come from, like. And that's, you hit the you, hammer you, on the you, nail. You know what I'm saying? And again, I don't care if you're white, black, mixed, Mexican, white, I don't, I don't care what you are. Mm -hmm. But there's something about an African American and what they have to offer as far as mindset that is scary. Right. That I don't know if it's like, the spirit in it without our any or black any. I don't I, know what I it don't is. I don't know bro. what it is, but the moment we shift us being a minority mm -hmm. and us not having the opportunity and realizing who we, we are, actually are. And, and we, we have the even playing field. And have the <laughs> Yo, just, I, I don't even want to call it even. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to call it even. <laughs> Facts. 
the moment you realize <laughs> that is a moment the world is yours. Facts, the moment bro. it's candidate, you know, and and that's it, man. It, Okay, so this is a whole another another rabbit hole of topic. Great topic, but like we fear of asking for help, mm. or not fear. We have the ego. We I, our ego keep us I keep suffer us from back. That. I can do it myself. So I got. I it. know what I like. I'm, yeah. I'm not scared to be like, bro. Yeah. Like I suck at this shit. Yeah. Can you help me? Yeah. When you ask somebody, just think about that. You ask somebody, hey, can you help me with this? That's so such a vulnerable question. Like people open up to vulnerability. Yeah. Yes, I can help you. If they, if that's somebody you, yep. you, you like, you know, like, okay, that person is great at this is a superpower. They're not. Well, I'm telling you, most people don't say no to that shit. That's one thing I've learned in the last three years. Is like most people will say yes. Most people if say yes. You ask. If, if you ask if in you a ask. genuine manner and authentic. But manner. how many people are asking in our coach? But how many people we're when they were younger them. asked and they, they got the word no? Got the word no. That that's real too. Even in school, school teachers are not to ask in general. Mm. And then on top of that, as a culture, like, we get a lot of no's in the black culture in general. You know what I'm saying? From my yes, mama, sir. like, grandma, whatever the case may be. No. Yep. No, 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 no. I don't have that. No, no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Versus, like, let's well, just say if you were born a little more privileged. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So you're going to ask. More we'll ask. But I, I realize we, we have the ego, you know, we have the ego more, more so than any other culture when it comes to that aspect. I agree. Like, I'm just going to figure this shit out myself. I agree. I'm just going to do it myself. That do-it-yourself mentality is going to keep you fucking in a rabbit hole. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's going to keep you in your environment. It's going to keep you honestly broke. That do it yourself mentality. Because you have to have, like, my, my superpower is money. You know what I'm saying? Make it, making money and realizing this, like, I noticed this about six years ago. Like, I'm, I'm great at noticing what I suck at and bringing on people with that's great at the superpowers that I'm not good at. And I'm, I'm, I'm great at overlooking, li- overlooking my business. The art from, of delegation. The, the bird's eye yeah. view. I'm great at delegating. delegating. Yep. I'm great at delegating. Yep. And I'm great at I'm great at managing money. So that's why and I need to be great at managing money because I'm in real estate space. I'm investing, I'm controlling money, I'm buying properties. You yep. gotta be great at those traits. Yep. I've always been great at math and numbers. Yep. But somebody be watching this suck at numbers. So you bring in somebody else mm. that's a great money manager. That's part of your team. You still run the business. That's part of the people that's you bring on your team. But I think people are lack of what I find these people. I think I honestly I think a lot of people know what they're not good at. Mm-hmm. Especially in today's society. They know what they're not good at, but they feel like they can't find the answers. They feel like they can't find that person. But they haven't asked. In the mindset they're like, damn I I can't find I can't I can't get this result. But you didn't even ask bro. Think about real estate like Yeah. For example there's a lot of your followers, people who fuck with you, that are huge in the real estate. Yeah. And they might want to close. They might want to buy property. They might want to buy a multifamily, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But they don't have a lender. They don't have um, mm-hmm. an investor. Like, and they feel like, well, I don't know where to find one at because in a because in their environment, it doesn't exist. So, what type of game would you? But get it to? does exist. But what type of game would you give to them yeah. to find it where, in their perception, it doesn't exist? But in reality, it does. Well, for, first of all, I do want to say the biggest consumers out of all cultures is the black culture. We're the biggest consumers. Mm. We spend the most, but they don't lie, 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 lie liabilities, not assets. Yeah. So that's one. So that means we got money mm. somewhere. Mm. Think about that for a second. We, we stay dripped out. We, we stay with the new one zone, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's fact. Like, so we're the biggest consumers, for one. But number two is, uh, is also lack of education. The lack, the, lack of, the, or the lack of education and the not having the right information. Mm. But the right information is right in front of you because you're watching this on social media right now. It's, it's on in the internet. The information is right on the internet. So I would tell somebody, like, have the belief that the money is there.